The daughter of billionaire Milwaukee Bucks co-owner Wes Eden has regularly given her followers a tantalizing glimpse into the very lavish perks that come with being an NBA heiress, from the jet-set getaways to a coveted spot on the Champions Parade. Hello my friends, subscribe to the channel and activate the bell to stay on top of all NFL news. Mallory Edens, who transformed from college athlete to sought-after model, has been edging ever closer into the limelight amid rumors she is now dating Green Bay Packers quarterback Aaron Rodgers, who is 13 years her senior. The pair were often seen sitting courtside together but Mallory, whose father has an estimated net worth of $3.6 billion, had previously dismissed dating speculation when she told ESPN, he sits next to us at so many games, him and my dad are friends. But in January the couple finally went public with their budding relationship after a source told people, it's more than friends, but it's casual. Nothing serious at all. Mallory Edens regularly gives her followers a tantalizing glimpse into her very lavish lifestyle having transformed to college athlete to sought-after model. The daughter of billionaire Milwaukee Bucks co-owner Wes Eden has never been one to shy away from the limelight. The beauty is currently represented by the modeling agency Women Management Los Angeles. The 26-year-old is edging ever closer into the limelight amid rumors she is now dating Green Bay Packers quarterback Aaron Rodgers, who is 13 years her senior. He's not looking to rush into anything. It's low-key for now. Rodgers was previously engaged to actress Shailene Woodley but called it off in February 2022. But this newfound romance is not the first time Mallory has found the spotlight. Mallory's father, who co-founded Fortress Investment Group in 1998, is worth an estimated $3.6 billion, according to Forbes. He purchased the Milwaukee Bucks along business partner Mark Lazary for $550 million in 2014. That same year, Father Wes was able to get Mallory a spot representing the Bucks at the NBA draft lottery in what would be her first major public appearance. She said, My dad knows I love basketball. It was such a big part of our lives before they were involved with the Bucks. So he was like, Mallory, this would be the coolest thing for you to go and do. It would be fun, they're doing it in New York, you should go do it. Mallory continued, I didn't really appreciate that it was on national TV, I wasn't thinking about it. Mallory's father, who co-founded Fortress Investment Group in 1998, is worth an estimated $3.6 billion, according to Forbes. The rising star has seemingly capitalized on her father's business decisions, regularly sharing behind-the-scene pictures. She even shared snaps holding the NBA trophy from the parade bus when the Bucks won the championship in 2021. The rising star said that it was that appearance that introduced her to the whole world. She said that she could not turn her phone on for a week because of the notifications she was getting after being inundated with hundreds of new followers. But it did not deter her from capitalizing on her connections and newfound fame. Shortly afterwards, Mallory began flaunting her courtside seat in posts on Instagram and even shared snaps holding the NBA trophy from the parade when the Bucks won the championship in 2021. And it seems she is keen to follow in her father's footsteps. Mallory who is originally from New York, told TMZ Sports in 2017 that she wanted to buy rival team the Knicks which are currently valued at around $6.6 .6 billion. I want to buy the Knicks one day, she said. We'll see how that works out. She later confirmed her aspirations in an ESPN appearance during which Mallory said she would first have to make a billion, trillion dollars. The NBA heiress has taken full advantage of her springboard into the limelight. The beauty, who has set out on a modeling career, is currently represented by the modeling agency Women Management Los Angeles. To date, she has posed for a range of high-profile designers including Alaya and Alessandra Rich, as she continues to grow her portfolio. The model has recently shared a slew of snaps from her sun-kissed getaways featuring sandy beaches, private yachts and water sports. Mallory, who graduated from Princeton, was a keen athlete in college. The rising star has achieved her figure with intensive workouts at celebrity favorite Dog Pound Gym. In her spare time, she continues to enthrall her 228,000 Instagram followers by giving them an insight into her extravagant lifestyle. Mallory has recently shared a slew of snaps from her sun-kissed getaways featuring sandy beaches, private yachts and water sports. And the bikini-clad photos have often left fans envying her physique. 
The rising star has previously revealed that she achieves her figure with intensive workouts at Dog Pound Gym. The state-of-the-art gym is also a favorite spot for a whole host of famous faces including Vanessa Hudgens, Adam Levine, and Kaya Gerber. During the 2018 NBA playoffs, Mallory appeared to troll Drake as she sat courtside wearing a t-shirt of his longtime adversary Pusha T. And the slight did not go unnoticed by the hitmaker. He posted an image of Mallory to his Instagram story alongside a caption that read, All is fair in war and war and trust me I'll still get you tickets to Ovo Fest. She regularly poses up a storm in her own time too, giving her 228,000 Instagram followers an insight into her enviable lifestyle. Mallory's slew of bikini-clad snaps often leaves her followers envious of her flawlessly toned physique. During the 2018 NBA playoffs, Mallory appeared to troll Drake as she sat courtside wearing a t-shirt of his longtime adversary Pusha T. And the slight did not go unnoticed by the hitmaker who posted an image of Mallory to his Instagram story alongside a caption that read, All is fair in war and war and trust me I'll still get you tickets to Ovo Fest. He then went one step further by changing his profile picture on the social media app to a photograph of the model. Speaking about the interaction on ESPN's Now or Never, Mallory said, We're not beefing, we're good. I feel like during the playoffs you've got to ride for your team. I guess I forgot I was sitting courtside so I didn't really think anyone would notice. I thought a few people would see it and be like, lol. The model is also not afraid to put her outspokenness to good use, being a vocal supporter of reproductive rights as well as women in sports. Mallory, who graduated from Princeton, was a keen athlete in college. She excelled at track and field and was also a keen equestrian before fracturing her skull in her senior year of high school in a horse-riding accident. Mallory published an op-ed in Time magazine in 2017 titled The Problem with Pink Sport Jerseys about how women are often marginalized in sports. Mallory's father purchased the basketball team along business partner Mark Lazary for $550 million in 2014, and she has seemingly capitalized on this connection. The model has recently shared a slew of snaps from her sun-kissed getaways with friends and family. There is nothing exceptional about a girl who is interested in sports, she wrote. But by confining girls and young women to a section of pink jerseys, we imply that there somehow should be. We have an easier time imagining her on WAGs than we do on the field or in a team's front office facilities. We tell her, implicitly, that she can't be like Derek Jeter. In doing so, we also inform her that sports are masculine, probably before it ever occurred to her that they should be. The beauty, who is currently represented by the modeling agency Women Management Los Angeles, has modeled for designers such as Alaya and Alessandra Rich. Mallory excelled at track and field in college and was also a keen equestrian before fracturing her skull in her senior year of high school in a horse-riding accident. Similarly, her current Instagram bio currently features a link to a list of abortion funds published by the cut in the aftermath of Roe v. Wade. She previously wrote a scathing post condemning Supreme Court Justice Samuel Alito, who was part of a student group that opposed affirmative action and admitting women to Princeton when he was a student there, for his role in the landmark ruling. Just because a bully grows up to wear a fancy robe and sit on the U.S. Supreme Court does not mean he's no longer a bully, she wrote. Your voice is not small and neither is your vote, please use them. Comment and leave your like, don't forget to subscribe to always stay updated, until the next video.